Hello, my beautiful babes. Sweet Angel here. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. And today's video, yes, 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 we'll be talking about castor oil. Castor oil has so many uses and we're going to explore each one that I use castor oil for today. If you would, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't be a stranger. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you'll be in the know each and every time I upload. If you're one of my subscribers already, welcome back. Y'all know how we do it. We're going to dig deep into castor oil today. And yes, you may find out something new. So stick and stay to the end. Now first, let's talk about it being a great product to use for your nails. It is great for nail treatment. It will help to strengthen and nourish your nails and condition them, soothe and soften your cuticles just simply by massaging a drop of castor oil into your nails and the skin around your nails. That simple definitely one of the one things I know I can run to especially during my nail growth journey right now now the other thing is it's wonderful for your eyelashes and eyebrows to help grow beautiful full lashes and brows just simply apply a little castor oil to your lashes and brows with a clean mascara wand or a cotton round before you go to bed this will help promote growth and strengthen them reducing loss and making them appear thicker and fuller I know there was a time when my lashes were so sparse or my brows were also that you couldn't even tell I had any at all even though mine by genetics not as thick as some I have some that I can definitely rock by themselves without adding any type of enhancements which I'm happy about that but castor oil is what helped me with that And now for the skin, the face specifically is what I'm talking about. Castor oil is an amazing cleansing oil. It literally will help melt away dirt, grime, and makeup. Y'all know I am one to wear waterproof mascara and eyeliner. It is great for that. Just massage a small amount of the oil to your skin then remove it with a washcloth soaked in warm water and remove the oil it will leave behind a light layer of oil to moisturize your skin and to protect your skin from water loss it is amazing for beautiful glowing skin now of course with anything always do a patch test everybody cannot use castor oil in that manner and in case you were concerned about it castor oil does have a low comedogenic score that means it's unlikely to clog your pores and it reduces the risk of developing blackheads making it appropriate for most skin types including sensitive skin And when it comes to the hair, I know it has not been that long ago when y'all saw me with my hair buzzed down and I cut designs in it and so on. But I do believe it's thanks to castor oil that I can restore my hair and help it to get back with some length. Now, I am not one to rock a long style at all never have for many years it's probably been almost 20 years since I let my hair grow in full length but I like a short style but the thing is with castor oil even though I color treat my hair it definitely locks in moisture helps to strengthen my hair and boost the shine in my hair if you've seen any of my hair coloring videos you know that I start off by applying castor oil intensely in my hair before color treating my hair. Now applying a castor oil hair mask once a week, you can grow hair easily, get glossy hair, 
it is definitely something that definitely has helped me out. I was always concerned about even my thinning temples. Now I do have edges, I don't have temples. Now when it comes to thinning temples, is it effective in helping that to grow back? Well, I can tell you this, my temples used to be slick, no hair, none at all. That could be because of heredity or it could also be caused by a type of hair loss called telogen effluvian. I think that's how you pronounce it, where hair in the temple area is affected and the hair sometimes become even thinner around the crown of the head. This is basically that your hair generally goes through a hair growth cycle and the hair follicles have a period of rest, which is called telogen. With telogen effluvian, the hair does not begin the next cycle of growth. But I personally do believe because of castor oil, that's the truth. I restored my temples to where you can actually see them in person. It may not be as easily to be seen on camera, but I do have hair in those areas where there was no hair. So the hair follicles do generate hair, but it is a little bit thinner in that area. But I do believe it's because of castor oil. Another thing that castor oil is good for is taming frizzy and flyaway hair. By smoothing on a tiny amount of this oil on the ends of your hair and you can tame the frizz and the flyaways. Castor oil is incredibly thick. It's incredibly rich, almost like honey. It's made up of monosaturated omega-9 fatty acid called ricinolic acid, which makes up around 90% of this oil. It's this unique composition that actually makes castor oil a super versatile oil. Now, most everybody has heard of castor oil. It is an exceptionally popular ingredient in many skincare products. And like many plant oils, castor oil is super moisturizing and nourishing. It is useful, very useful for preventing water loss from the skin and the hair, which causes dryness and flakiness. It creates a barrier on the skin, locking in moisture. Castor oil is known big time to be beneficial for the skin and softening and smoothing out your complexion. And again, recently or within the last few years, it has gained superior popularity for being included in hair care products as it does promote vitality of beautiful, stronger hair. Now the other question has always been, is there a difference between Jamaican black castor oil and castor oil? Well, certainly you know the most obvious difference between the two oils is the color. Traditional castor oil is usually a yellow color. The lighter it is, the more pure. Jamaican black castor oil, on the other hand, is a darker color due to the burnt ashes of the castor bean. And I wanted to clarify something else as well, is the question as to which one is better, Jamaican black castor oil or regular castor oil. And basically, Jamaican black castor oil does not work any better than regular castor oil in helping with hair growth. The ash and the resulting alkalinity does help with oil absorption to the hair shaft. Without the ash, regular castor bean oil with naturally lower pH performs better in reducing frizz, basically. So overall, whichever one you choose, you're gonna be fine. So all in all, beautiful babes, both types of castor oil are wonderful. Both the yellow castor oil and the Jamaican black castor oil benefit the hair and skin, but due to the roasting of the castor bean, there are some added benefits for using Jamaican black castor oil. And pretty much that's my take on castor oil. It's the benefits for the nails, for the skin, for the hair, for your brows and your lashes. I hope you did in fact get some value out of today's video. If you did, please, please let me know by dropping a like on the video. That'll help me out so, so much. And if you made it to this point in the video, 
be sure to drop me some hearts in the comments to let me know you have arrived and even introduce yourself in the comments so I'll know where you're tuning in from. I appreciate my beautiful babes. More to come and surely will be growing even more because you all will continue to do what you do and that is sharing me with your world. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.